Okay, post-trib moment number 44. Here he's going back to Revelation 3.10. Apparently he has a problem with this one. Let me play another thing here. Tribulation. Well, I can't see any other place in the Bible where an hour would represent seven years. I don't... Okay, let me just stop there for a minute. You can say, uh, in this day and age, uh, things are a lot different than they were in the past. Well, that means to just this one day. No. Say, uh, man, in this hour, I'll tell you what, it just seems like the Lord's real, getting real close to come back. That's referring to the time period. Okay? An hour, just because it says hour, doesn't mean one literal hour. Right? Again, these, all his little things that he comes up with are so ridiculous. I don't understand how they can derive seven years out of an hour. And I don't see how they can get tribulation out of temptation. But let me give you a couple of verses from later on in the book of Revelation that actually do talk about an hour. Like, for example, in, in Revelation chapter 14, right tribulation. And so this Revelation 3.10 is just really grasping at straws. You know, they have to make an hour become seven years. They have to make temptation become tribulation. And uh, they're just reading things into the scripture that simply are not there. Yeah. Uh, pretty much like what he does.